Hi guys, it's Ray. Um, today I am starting on Christmas cups, gift cups. I mean, not Christmas cups. So the first one's going to be quite simple. This one that I'm doing now, not the first one. They're all in various phases here, but um, this is just a 20 ounce skinny prepped and painted white. And it is going to be a Chelsea Football Club um, tumbler. So I printed a wrap for it that will hopefully line up somewhat. I can trim it down if I need to, but I'm hoping it'll come out close. And the bottom will line up, so I'll just trim the top. If need be. So... I'm going to, I should have done my cut first. This is just printed on my Koala Matte White printable vinyl. So I'm going to peel it back. Cut a piece off, cut it in an extreme angle by accident, I'm just going to double check my fit again. Now, I just want to get it started. I don't want to push the whole thing down yet because I need to be able to get this peeled back. Hopefully without wrinkling the whole thing. I'm using a felt squeegee, um, definitely use felt, especially something you printed at home that's a little more delicate on the ink. And try to work slowly. There we go. Beautiful. Might be a slight pucker at the bottom, but I'm not terribly concerned about that. This is the vinyl I printed on, the Koala Matte Inkjet. Um, I really love it. It gives a nice smooth um, it was a little long at the bottom, so I do have that little bit of puckering, but nothing terribly major. This may get a pinstripe in the dark blue. I haven't decided yet. Um, and I'm also just going to put the little baby version of the Chelsea Football Club on the bottom, printed from the same vinyl. I'm going to try and line it up fairly neatly with the other logo. Just because I feel like this was pretty dull otherwise. So this will get a coat of epoxy on it and if I decide it needs a pinstripe, I'll do that. But I'm leaning towards no, just because this is a cup for a guy. And I think simple will be best. So I'm going to just take my blade 
and kind of taper this back off to even. The bottom's spot on, so I think I'm going to call that good. I do have a little void in my ink right here, but again, I'm not worried about it. So I'm going to let this vinyl sit and rest, and then we'll get some epoxy on it. Okay, so my epoxy is all mixed up. This is ready to go. And um, looking at this again, I really don't think I'm going to pinstripe it or anything. I think I'm just going to call it good as is. So, slippery on my paper here. Um, so I'm going to get this coat on. And it's going to get another clear coat on top, but she's basically going to be finished at this point. Just a really simple, basic sport team cup. You could do this with any team if you were in a a pinch. I mean, I'm not really in a pinch here. I just, it's not something I know anything about. So, it's a little chilly here this morning. Um, so, I'm a little bit bubbly, but I will get this torched. I'm just trying to do a pretty thin, smooth coat. Not overly thin, but thin enough. But yeah, that is going to be it for this one. I'm just going to pick this up and see if I can show it to you because I've got more cups to do and I don't want to take my gloves off. So there's that front logo. I thought about cutting a bigger one to put on the front, but I decided that between the front and the bottom that two was plenty and, um, it wasn't really necessary, but there's the bottom. I can't really touch anything. Just white with the logo in the center. So uh, that's going to be it for this one. It really doesn't get much simpler. Uh, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.